Okay, this is all about alloys. And what an alloy is, is a mixture of a metal, normally with another metal in a small amount. So it's a mixture. And when we get an alloy, it changes the properties of that metal. And there are a couple of different alloys you need to know about. Here are some alloys you need to know about. Amalgam is an alloy which is made of mercury mixed with another metal, and that's used for tooth fillings. Brass is an alloy, and that's a mixture of copper and zinc metals, and that is malleable, bendy, so that we can use it to make musical instruments. Solder is a mixture of tin and lead. That has a low melting point and is also a good conductor of electricity, and that's used for joining metals together. You also need to know that bronze and steel are also alloys. So, steel is an alloy of iron uh, mixed with uh, other elements like carbon or chromium or nickel. And steel is much stronger than iron and it doesn't corrode as much. Now, why is steel stronger than iron? Well, with iron, pure iron, all the atoms are the same size so they can slip over each other. But with an alloy, you've got two, at least two different elements in there. So you might have iron and carbon. And because the atoms are different sizes, they can't slip over as easily, and that makes it stronger. Boing. What's that noise I hear you say? That's the sound of nitinol, an alloy of nickel and titanium, which has a special shape memory property. So if we bend it, and then there's a change in temperature, boing, it springs back to its original shape. It has two uses which you need to know about. It's used in making glasses frames, and it's also used to make tiny little things called stents. And they're used to keep collapsed blood vessels open um, if somebody's had a heart attack.